Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today we are drawing animals. Whenever you draw anything, you want to start out really, really light and always starting out with very basic shapes. This front one here is going to be the head of my little rat. I am drawing a, oh, what is it going to be? A fat sand rat, so a desert animal. And the reason you always start light is because it's very likely that a lot of these lines are going to either be erased or need to be edited. You can start light and then always start adding values and start blocking in where your eyes are going to be and some texture within your hair. Because this is a rat, it's going to obviously have a lot of different lines and fluffiness. The ear is going to be a relatively distinct feature, so make sure you're focusing on that as you work. The original shapes that you started with are just guidelines. They're there to help you, but it's very unlikely that you'll use exactly what they were, it's like I'm doing now, by connecting and adding in those little nostrils. This is a side view of the rat, so you got to factor in that it is still three-dimensional, so you'd still be able to see that slight nostril on the opposite side and a little bit of the mouth on the opposite side. Slowly starting to take shape. Remember animal eyes are generally very very dark but you do want to include that highlight which is just going to bring some life to your animal. Alright, at this point, starting to add in some different values and textures, connecting a little bit so the shape comes back, or comes forward, I suppose, with your body, and let's add in some limbs. So starting with the front paws, you want to make sure you're curving at least the front, and the paws are relatively big. Make sure you're not making them too short. This is what's holding up this little scamper so you can run all over the place and move quickly enough. Again, starting relatively light, you'll go back and edit this later. I did end up getting the body a little bit too long, so I'm going to fix that now. This is a big part of why you need to start light, so it's easy to erase. You never want to have those big divots inside your paper. And as long as you start light and with a regular pencil, you will be good to go in that regard. Don't forget that back paw. Um, and since it is at an angle, you're not going to be able to see every single one of his little toes or claws. So keep that in mind. I'm going to reshape this just a smidge.
and then his tail is going to be relatively long. So make sure you're not cutting it too short and it's always fluffy at the end. So just regular zigzag, quick little lines. And we'll go back and add values in there in a little bit. Got a relatively good shape at this point. And from here, it the majority of your drawing is going to be values. You will want to include a cast shadow to establish some sort of land that he or she is standing on. But from this point, you are relatively good to go and we are all about establishing values and that's going to help make him or her look more three-dimensional and bring him to life a bit. For the majority of the fur, I've been using hatching, and that's been working relatively successfully in varying my lines, the length of my lines, and the pressure I've been using. So you always want to change it up a little bit, and that's going to help establish depth within your fur, which will help establish that dimension within your animal. And I know I am working relatively fast, but it's all very similar. And as you work, you'll notice, and as you watch, you'll notice that I do kind of hop around the page on my little desert rat. The reason I do that, I don't want to get too hung up on one specific area of his body. Because if I get too hung up on it, I'm not going to want to change it. So it's good to jump around a little bit and add a little bit here and a little bit there as you move. So just building up on those values and establishing that cross uh, cast shadow here. So don't forget the tail within the shadow. And since it is from the top shadow underneath the body, and it's going to be kind of a replication of his body but not an exact match because shadows generally don't match perfectly go back in to find some of those lines and we are starting to see our desert rat okay going in and defining the face a little bit now, just like when you're drawing anything that has a face, generally speaking, the viewer's eyes are going to go directly to that. So it is relatively important that you have a successful face on your animal. In this case, our fat sand rat. Now you want to have varying values within your rat. I'm just continuing with the crossing, cross hatching, and the hatching because I want to keep it consistent. I'm only using cross hatching a little bit. The majority of it is just hatching, which is straight lines that are next to each other, defining that ear to help that pop out. And what's really going to make or break this is where I decide to place the values. Whiskers are going to be very, very important on this animal because it really is what defines it as being a rat. So you want to press hard close to the nostril and just pull your pencil in the direction you want it. As little amount of hesitation as possible. And if they layer on top of each other, that's absolutely fine. And at this point, we are relatively close to being done. 
we have our wonderful fat sand rat. And if you want to label it, you can. You don't have to. That's going to be a personal preference. Thanks for watching.